Hey folks, welcome to Chill Mini Painting, where we are continuing to explore and experiment with our new Army Painter 2.0 Speed Paints. This troll's looking a little sad, all black and white, so let's use the slap chop technique to throw on a little color. Yeah, that's more like it. Slap chop is a style of painting where you start with a black primer, then optionally dry brush on a gray mid layer before covering the highlights on the model with a white dry brush. Then you cover the model in some speed paint or contrast paint. In anticipation of the speed paint coming in, I did a lot of dry brushing. Some of you can even go and watch on the channel if you're interested. Most of this is a 40 piece set of undead mermaids called the Mer Ghouls, which I 3D printed myself. The minis are killer, designed by Cast and Play, my 3D mini sculpting Patreon of choice. By the way, they are doing mimics for January and they look incredible, so you know I'll be painting those seriously. Check them out. On the channel, I'll be speed painting all 40 of these models with the same color scheme. So if that's something you want to see, make sure you like and subscribe. But I don't want to start on the Murghouls until I'm feeling confident in my speed painting abilities. So in the meantime, this rock and roll troll needs some speed paint. Let's chill and paint. Just like in the other speed painting videos that I've done, I'm sticking to the base 10 speed paints that you get with the base set that you can get for $50. So if you like what you see, it's not a big price barrier to do something like this yourself. So this is actually the second troll that I've done. The first one that I did, I just did with the orc skin speed paint without anything added just to see how it looked by itself. And it looks pretty good, but I'm trying to get something a little lighter for this model. So I'm mixing one drop of orc skin with three drops of the zealot yellow to see if I can get a much lighter hue. The color I got is definitely lighter, but it's not much lighter. It's not really what I was going for. That being said, it doesn't look bad. It's just not what I wanted. But that's what this experiment's all about. Just try something and see how it turns out. If this is your first time watching a chill and paint video, You'll see that I let the shots linger for quite a while. I want the paint to kind of speak for itself. So you make the judgment for yourself. Do you think this looks like a good green or do you wish it was lighter too? Next, we're coming in with the wood, which is the satchel brown mixed with one drop of zealot yellow. On the last model I did, the wood was a little bit too dark for me, so I'm trying to lighten it up again. 
and unlike the skin, I got exactly what I wanted. I still wanted a dark wood, but I wanted the dry brush underneath to show through as well. So just diluting the paint down a little bit helped a lot. Now let's take a look at the hair. And at this point in the video, I have to admit that this did not turn out how I wanted it to look. I was going for a bit of a strawberry blonde. So I put in a lot of yellow with only a touch of the slaughter red, and it came out looking fire orange like you see in front of you. In addition to the color not really being what I wanted, I also tried a technique that I do with acrylics where I'm putting on a lighter color and then a darker color over top. My plan was to get some of the Trolls dreadlocks in different colors like a blue and a purple and to have those colors be a really distinct pop of something different on the model. With acrylics, you can just put the lighter color over the entire space that you're trying to paint, and then you can put on the darker color later once it dries, and it usually covers it up completely. But the lesson I learned from this model is that does not work with speed paints. So after I put on the orange, I tried to put a bit of the Beowulf blue in on some of the dreads, hoping that the blue would just overtake the orange completely and I'd get a nice vibrant blue. But instead, it just got all dark and messy and it came out looking black. So if you want to use speed paints and paint a part of the model a specific color, you can't put down a lighter color first and expect the next color to cover it up. So for this particular model, that strategy really backfired. In fact, a lot of things went wrong when I was painting this one, but that's okay. I just got these paints last week and I'm still learning. And if you don't experiment and try new things, then you're never going to learn what works and what doesn't. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Zealot Yellow by itself on the little loincloth here on the back. And this yellow is probably my favorite part of the entire model. The yellow went on better than I expected. I expected it to be a little bit lighter and not have as good of a coverage. And I like how it bleeds into orange in some of the recesses as well. 
With acrylic yellows, you usually need multiple coats, so I really appreciate being able to get something really yellow and only one pass by. Now with some pallid bone on the tusks. Over and over again, I love how this pallid bone looks and it really summarizes how I feel speed paint should be used. If you do a good job dry brushing underneath, the colors just go on almost like a wash and you can see all that detail that you put in show through the top coat of color. So we've reached the end of the video and I'm giving you a little comparison with the first troll that I painted. So you can see that the skin did come out quite a bit lighter and the hair is quite a bit lighter as well. And it doesn't look bad necessarily, it just wasn't what I was going for when I first started trying to paint the model. You can turn these guys around here, you can see their adorable little loincloths. So now that these two are done, I wonder what I'm going to paint next. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to get more videos from Chill Mini Painting. See you next time.